All right, guys. So it looks like we have another Canadian politician, a leader of a major a major party who wants to continue to hold Canadians hostage by stopping us from having an early election. Now, before we get into this, um, I do want to just remind you guys to please like and subscribe this video as it really does help grow the channel. And also let me know what you're thinking in the comment section, whether you just want to share your thoughts, uh, suggest a video, or just leave any comment you want, really. I'm, I don't really remove comments unless like someone leaves something really bad. But for the most part, say pretty much whatever you want. Um, so basically this article from CTV says, Block Quebec wall ready to extract gains for Quebec in exchange for supporting liberals. So now that the NDP has broken off their coalition, Jugmeet Singh is going to, or um, not Jugmeet Singh broke off the coalition. Now Yves Blanchet from the Bloc Québécois is going to form his own coalition with Justin Trudeau. <sighs> Let's uh, have a look at this video here. Um, I'm, it's four minutes. I don't know if I'll watch the whole thing with you guys, but just until we get the point across, and then we'll talk about it after like usual. I think they're pretty uh, used to the feeling that they've had over the last year, which is that they fully acknowledge and are aware of exactly what you just laid out, sort of what the uh, party is facing, and in particular the prime minister when it comes to the electorate. I think what's shifted, particularly over the last week, is, is what you mentioned, the breakdown of the deal with the NDP, and then what I think behind the scenes will have an even larger consequence, and that's the resignation of the campaign director, Jeremy Broadhurst. He wasn't just the campaign director. He also did that in 2019. He was uh, a very close advisor in the prime minister's office, one of the two essentially closest, two or three closest people to the prime minister in his office. So he was already a ton of speculation, Renee. I don't know if it necessarily... Uh, now, meantime, Sorry, the leader that's... of the block is oh. trying to leverage the moment. Uh, Bashi, what can you tell us? Well, who can blame him? He has all the leverage now. Uh, the NDP have ripped apart, in the words of Jagmeet Singh, their agreement to keep the Liberals in power in exchange for a host of policy initiatives. And now the Liberals have to look to other partners in order to stay in power, because the goal is, of course, to give yourself as much time as possible if you are the Liberals in order for lowering interest rates and the lower rate of inflation to take hold among Canadians for their economic kind of circumstances at an individual level to improve so that uh, the political context around the Prime Minister and the Liberals is diluted a bit or diffused a little bit. So people aren't as anxious or angry toward them. That will take a really long time. In order to buy time, they've got to look to who else can support them in their big confidence votes, things like the budget or the fall economic statement, should Parliament you know, stay on track and resume next week. The Bloc is a natural ally on a number of subjects, less naturally so on others, but you know, the, the leader of the bloc will be able to leverage a lot, you would think, for people in Quebec, for the kinds of policies that he wants to see pursued, uh, because the liberals sort of can give him that leverage, can go say, okay, we have a lot of stuff for Quebec that we're willing to do in order to stay in power. It's kind of a small price to pay in the views of liberals. And so I would look ahead to them leaning on the bloc uh, quite a bit, and at times even on the NDP to remain in power. Interesting. All right, so this yeah, sorry for the confusion at the at the beginning of that video. I thought the whole thing was about um, uh, Yves Blanchet with the uh, forming a new coalition, but as you heard there, you know it, it's you know good for the the Bloc Quebec Walk because now they they're going to get a bunch of things that Quebec wants. However, for the rest of Canada that wants an election, we now have, we now have not just one party, but one party who is only represented in one province, who has the ability to keep Canada hostage from another election which most people want right now right it's very clear most canadians want an election most canadians want this government out and you've had the ndp and now the bloc and i'm sure if the greens had enough power they would do it too it's it's just insane that every single party seems like except for the conservatives want to just hold canadians hostage they don't want us to have an election they're just going to selfishly Hold the rest of us just sitting here waiting while we all suffer just so that Quebec can get some. Why is the, <laughs> if you guys can please answer me this question, because I have no idea. Why is the Bloc Quebecois even allowed to be a federal party? Did they have to get a certain amount of votes to become a federal party like it is in the States? How does that happen? And, and why is it allowed to happen that one province can basically now stop an election from happening? Just because they're going to vote with the liberals on everything unless they don't get what they want. 
but Trudeau wants to stay in power, so he's going to give them a lot of what they want. And so every time there's a supply and confidence vote, which if voted against would trigger an election, Yves Blanchet and the Bloc Quebecois <clears throat> are now going to side with the Liberals. So one party left the coalition, another one's coming in purely for selfish reasons. I even saw a little clip of Yves Blanchet earlier where, you know, someone asked him, hey, uh, what do you think about, uh, what do you feel, how do you feel about having all this new power? And he goes, good, like, good, give the power to me because I don't give a shit about Canadians. Another party who seems to be not Canada first. Like, raise your hand if you're, let me know in the comment section if you're sick of this, just as sick as I am of it. I mean, it's just, it's, it, <clears throat> it's insane that coalitions can even form. And there's another question I have for you. Do you think that coalition should be able to form? If someone wins a minority government, they should have to just be a minority government. Not just form coalitions. So now they become a majority. The Canadian voters did not vote for a majority government. <clears throat> but coalitions, when, when brought together, now basically give that minority party a, mi a majority party in terms of getting all the things they want passed because they have the votes to do it now. It, it, it's absolutely sickening that, that that's even allowed to happen. You win a minority, that means you win a minority, and that's it. That's what Canadians wanted. You win a majority, well, that's what Canadians wanted, and that's what's going to happen with Pierre Polyev in a big way. The longer they wait, Pierre Polyev's lead is likely to increase. Unless they're planning some sort of weird scandal. I don't know if you guys have heard, like, if you are if you guys are on X, and if you are on X, by the way, just follow me over at the Dan Freeman Show. But if you go on X, there's all these liberal, I don't know if they're bots, if they're actually people, but they're calling Pierre Polyev Pierre Putin because they're saying he's, you know, some Russian scandal that just happened with a bunch of uh, people who are on the right, I think with Tenet Media. And I'm not 100% sure what's going on there, but I do know for sure that these are just accusations and that Pierre Polyev is not linked to any of this. If he was, Justin Trudeau probably would say something, but it's not. It's all of his little woke leftist cronies that are saying it on X. It's just really weird. But of course, the liberals, again, using another tactic that the states use, right? Remember when the liberals were saying, oh, we don't want American style politics with Pierre Polyev up here. He's like the new Trump. Now, Justin Trudeau is acting like the, the Democrats. So apparently he does want Russian style politics here. He's not condemning what's happening. He surely knows about it. And now, of course, the left is using, oh, the right is Russia. Like, that's been going on for eight years, and it's been debunked most times. So if you actually think that, you're a fool. There's no evidence to say that Russian, or that Pierre Polyev or Donald Trump are Russian bots. But anyway, that's a topic for another video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the Bloc, the leader of the Bloc Quebecois essentially continuing to hold Canadians uh, hostage. Um, do you think that they should even be allowed to be a, a major party? I always enjoy reading uh, your comments and engaging with you guys. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help grow this channel. And uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.